Welcome back. Problem 5.105. This problem is taken from chapter number 5, Analysis and Design of Beams for Bending. And the book name is Mechanics of Material by Bear and Johnson, 6th edition. And the topic is Singularity Function or Macaulay's Method. So statement is in part A, we have been asked using singularity function, write the equation for shear and bending moment for the beam ABC under the loading shown. And in part B, use the equation obtained for M to determine the bending moment just to the right of point D. So you can see this is the beam having a point load at point C and at this point we have P. Clear? Now uh, due to this loading you have to find the shear force and bending moment equation using singularity function. So let's start with the solution. So when you solve this and if you remove this fixed support at point B you will be having a vertical reaction force vy you will be having a re horizontal reaction force bx and you will be having a moment which is mb and what if you move this point p load to point a so definitely you can move that by using force couple system and you can see there is a perpendicular distance from point a till this which is equal to p into l by 3 and it is producing clockwise moment so i can write it this moment will be equal to P L by 3. And similarly, if you move this point load to point D, so what you can do is that you can move it P and there will be a, a perpendicular distance from P to D, which is L and this is producing counterclockwise movement. So this P L over 3 will be counterclockwise. So again, I can write this as counterclockwise movement is like this so you can see this will be also equal to pl divided by 3 now we can draw a free body diagram for the beam shown below or the one which i am drawing so this is point b you will be having a vertical reaction force by you will be horizontal reaction force bx and you will be having a moment which will be mb at point b at point A, you can have this P load and a clockwise movement, which will be PL divided by 3. And at point D, this is your point A, this is your point D. Again, at point D, you have a vertical load P and you will have a counterclockwise movement, which is PL divided by 3. The distance from A to D can be obtained if you, you have L by 3 and L by 3. So it will be 2 L by 3. So I can write it over here. This is equal to 2 L divided by 3. And from D to B, this distance is L by 3. Now by using singularity function, we will start from the left hand side clear and we will move toward right hand side and the term toward right hand side the last terms b y b x and m b they will not contribute in this equation so we will neglect them why i have explained it in so many problem you can also try at the end they will give you the zero value so starting for the shear force shear force equation using singularity function function so we know that singularity function is vx at this point we at point a we have a load p so due to this load this p is acting downward so this is the the figures which is used for the uh, the low point load since it is acting at point a so the shear force equation is this one but at in this condition a is equal to zero so i will write vx is equal to minus p into x minus 0 power 0 this is the shear force equation here a is equal to 0 now at this point p you can have this moment as well which is pl over 3 so equation for the moment for uh, the figure used for moment is this one and shear force a uh, bending moment will be uh, sorry shear force is 0 so it is not producing any shear force so this term will be 0 now the second load is point P and it is acting at a distance of 2L by 3. 2L 
this distance is 2L by 3 which is equal to A for this point load. So I can write minus P into X minus A, A is 2L over 3 power 0. And this movement is also having no shear force equation. So this will be equal to V of X will be equal to minus P and x power 0 is 1 so it will be minus p and minus p into x minus 2 l by 3 that this is your equation number 1 which is the required shear force equation using singularity function now what i will do is that i will find pending moment equation using singularity function function and for that i can write it m of x starting for this load p so bending moment equation will be this one you can see um, bending moment for point load p is this one so I will write minus P into X minus A for this P load is equal to 0. So I will write X square. Not X square. X minus 0 power. This is 1. So correct it. This is 1. Okay. Plus now this you have a clockwise movement which is equal to PL over 3. So for movement, the bending movement equation is this one. Since this is for counterclockwise movement here and here this is clockwise. So I will write it plus. So plus M0 is PL over 3. Clear? So PL over 3 into X minus 0. Because A is equal to 0 for this movement. So it will be having power 0. You can check it over here. The third load is this point P and this is downward. So minus P into X minus A for this is 2L over 3. So minus 2L by 3 power 1. And the last term for this movement will be PL over 3. And this is counterclockwise. So it will be minus M0. So minus M0 is PL over 3. Over here you can see movement is PL over 3 into X minus A is 2L by 3 power 0. Okay. So what we can do is that we can simplify it. Movement about X is equal to minus P into X plus PL over 3 because X power 0 is 1. And this term will be minus P into X minus 2L over 3. 3 power 1 minus P into L over 3 into X minus 2L by 3 power 0. This is your equation number 2 and is the required bending moment equation using singularity function. Now in part B we have been asked use the equation obtained for M to determine the bending moment just to the right point of point D. So this is point D. So just try it at point D means that at X is equal to 2L by 3. We will find this moment. So put X is equal to 2L by 3 in equation number 2. So moment about point D will become equal to minus P. X will be replaced with 2L over 3 plus PL divided by 3 minus P times 2L divided by 3 minus 2L divided by 3 power 1 minus PL divided by 3 into 2L divided by 3 minus 2L divided by 3 power 0. So we will get minus 2PL over 3 plus PL over 3 minus p times this term will be 0 anything power 0 power 1 is 0 so minus p into l divided by 3 and this term will be 0 0 power 0 is 1 so we can write it minus 2 p l divided by 3 plus p l divided by 3 this will be 0 
माइनस पी इंटू जीरो इज जीरो एंड माइनस पी एल डिवाइड बाय थ्री ओके सो यू कैन सी दिस टू कैन कैंसल विद ईच अदर सो दैट विल बी इक्वल टू मूवमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट डी सो मूवमेंट अबाउट पॉइंट डी विल बी इक्वल टू माइनस टू पी एल डिवाइड बाई थ्री आर यू कैन से दैट दिस मूवमेंट इज इक्वल टू माइनस सॉरी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिमूव माइनस सो इट विल बी पी टू पी एल डिवाइड बाई थ्री एंड दैट विल बी काउंटर क्लॉक वाइज मूवमेंट एट पॉइंट डी and this is the answer of our this question and that was all about this problem 5.105 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you are learning as well those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching